what's going on? Yeah, it's yeah, not what's going on. We were just having a few what drinks, you and, 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 and then when we came in here, I have a problem, John. Hello, my name is Keith Ford. I'm 27 years old and I love playing Super Smash Brothers. I've played other games in the past, other fighting games like Street Fighter, Tekken, Marvel vs. Capcom. None of them really rustle my jimmies like Smash though. For example, if I whoop your ass with Scorpion or Sub-Zero or even Ryu, those are very menacing characters who are very well versed in martial arts. But if I say I whooped your ass as Mario, my nigga, that's a plumber. Why are you getting whooped by a plumber? Fighting is his side gig. That's embarrassing. That brings the wow factor. Yeah, so uh, my name's John. Uh, I'm one of Keith's friends. A actually, pretty much his only friend. Um, I'm just really worried for him. He's, you know, this whole Super Smash Brothers thing, it's, he's obsessing it over a lot. He's, he seems to not be the same. Is that recording? Yeah, so he's just pretty much in his room all the time. It's either he's looking at porn or looking up Smashboard stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's just frame data and character matchups. Now this is the damn devil, man. I'm tired of looking at this sheet of paper talking about Sheik's frame data. I don't care how bad they nerf her, I can't get around this damn two-frame jab, this three-frame nair. <laughs> hey, can you shut up? I'm trying to sleep. But she always wins neutral, man! She's still good! <laughs> so if you didn't know already, uh, I, I kind of got fired from my most recent job. I was late for about 10 days in a row. I, I guess the technical term would be, I didn't show up. But, you know, I, I was late. So which one was it? Were you late or did you not show up? Well, I showed up. I, I showed up. But, like, I showed up up here. You know, I, I, I was thinking about showing up. In real life, I just, you know, that counts, right? Look, man, I don't have an addiction to Super Smash Brothers. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't even know why you guys are here. Okay, I love the game just like anybody else. If you don't believe me, go talk to my boy, Corey. That's like my brother, man. He'll vouch for me. Yeah, uh, my name is Corey. I was actually just trying to get something to eat. I got pulled aside here. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even like Keith. If you're asking me if me losing my job had anything to do with me playing Super Smash Brothers excessively, I find that disrespectful, disgusting, degrading, insulting. It might have had something to do with it. Yeah, so I've been really worried for Keith. He's getting more involved with the Super Smash Brothers thing and it's taking over his life actually. Every time we're hanging out, he we relate something to Smash Brothers. Like, we were at the bar the other day. He's like, yo, check out the frame data on that girl over there. I just, I'm just i looking around like, what are you talking about? And then there was that one time we went to the drive-thru. I think something's really wrong with them. Take order, please. Hey, how you doing? Um, I was wondering if I can get the Bayonetta combo with the Dr. Pepper to drink, please. The what combo? The Bayonetta combo with the Dr. I, Pepper. I have no what clue what I've made the Bayonetta combo. No, not the, no, the Bayonetta combo. Y'all don't have I that have down no here? I don't know what the Bayonetta combo is, so you might want to explain. No, it's not an accent. It's, I guess, y'all might not do it down here. Never mind. Yeah, I don't see it up here. All right. Thank you, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty worried for him. John likes to bring up some imaginary incident where we're at fast food and I ask for a Bayonetta combo. What? That sounds so ridiculous. I'm even embarrassed to, to, to say it. Who would do that? <laughs> what do I look like asking? We were talking the other day, and he told me he lost his job. And I'm thinking he's gonna go out and find another one. But really, he doesn't do anything anymore but just sit around in the living room playing Smash all day. Bills are getting kind of heavy. You found a job yet? A job? My dude, my only job is to body these fools on Four Glory. Wait, what? Yeah, so just the other week, Corey and I just found out Keith lost his job and he was, you know, living at our place for a whole month. 
Um, he just he just sits around playing Smash all day. I, I really don't know what he's doing. He he hasn't even filed for unemployment or anything of like that. He, I would think someone in his position would be you know looking for a job right now, but I guess Smash is too important. I mean like even when we hang out, like he takes the game way too seriously. Like I play it just to have fun, you know, find a sense of enjoyment in the game, and he's just such a tryhard with everything. It just sucks the fun out of the game. Yeah, so pretty much I quit playing Smash because of Keith. It's just not that fun with him anymore. He, you know, he, he takes it too seriously. I'm just trying to have fun. Um, that plus I started playing the new My Little Pony MMO, so that's that's been pretty lit. Yes! <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, man. You know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles, man. Your ass at this game. Makes me not even want to play anymore. Yo, know, this is like the first match you've won in like 30 games. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, invite some friends over, turn some items on, you know, just drink a little bit, have fun. Turn some items on? Have yeah. fun? What? Two stocks, no items, now nigga pick your band. So you forfeit. Yeah, so I was just in my room last night, I think it was around 3 a.m., you know, just casually playing Hello Kitty Island Adventure, and I was hearing all these noises from Keith's room, so I went over and, you know, I, I went to go check up on him, and he was, it's kind of awkward, but he was doing stuff with his amiibo. It's, I mean, it's really tough to talk about it right now, but, you know, stuff with his amiibo. It was a Yoshi amiibo, to be exact. What the hell? This every night. I'm just trying to play Hello Kitty. Keith? Keith? Hey, what's going on in here? Oh, what? Oh, what are you? What are you? What are you doing here, man? What, what, is, what are you doing? What, it's not what it looks like. All right, we were just having a few drinks, and 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 then and we came in here, and it's it's. Oh God, I have a problem, John. Ever since that whole amiibo incident, Keith has really, um, you know, dedicated himself to, you know, recovering back. And, you know, me, you know, friends and family, are all, we're all here for him. Uh, you know, we'll do whatever it takes to, you know, bring him back. Uh, interventions, you know, help sessions, whatever. Um, just ho hopefully not too, too long, because, you know, I gotta, I gotta get back to My Little Pony. You know. He did what with an amiibo? Ugh! Nigga need Jesus! My name is Keith Ford, I'm 27 years old, and I have recovered from my Super Smash Brothers addiction. I had to admit that I had an addiction in order to get over it, and I'm a lot better for it. I still moderately play, of course, beating scrubs on For Glory, but now I have a job, and I'm a lot more responsible. Um, it's been about six months now. He's gotten a little bit better. Uh, he's not as addicted to the game as he used to be. He's living a little bit more of a healthier lifestyle. He's still not, you know, that much better of a person. I'm still not even sure how you guys even got in here or why we're filming this. To be honest, I really don't even like the guy. I mean, he said he was thinking about starting a YouTube channel, but I mean, to be honest, I, I think it's gonna fail. I thought it was a stupid idea. I mean, about Smash, are you kidding me? So six months later, and I really think uh, Keith's whole addiction to Super Smash Brothers is, you know, we pretty much got rid of it. Um, we're really happy for him. We put it. We we all put a lot of work in to help him get him uh, get him back to where he was. And I even heard he's gonna start a YouTube channel. Uh, you know, I'll be the first subscriber to that. Now, excuse me, I gotta get back to that. You know, My Little Pony. So life is good now. It's really good now, you know, I'm clean. Like I said, my system has been flushed out of my addiction. I go to sleep and, and I sleep like a baby. I wake up and I can exercise. I still play a little bit, you know, occasionally, like, like, I, uh, like I said before, but it doesn't consume my life, not anymore. And plans for the future? I don't know. I was thinking about maybe starting a YouTube channel or something. We'll see how that goes.
Well, that's just crazy.